Hello and welcome to the quick clips in this video we brings you everything about COVID-19 and Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine. Let's go to the video. Coronavirus disease or COVID-19 is an infectious disease caused by a newly discovered coronavirus. Most people infected with the COVID-19 virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. Older people, and those with underlying medical problems like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, and cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. The best way to prevent and slow down transmission is to be well informed about the COVID-19 virus, the disease it causes and how it spreads. Protect yourself and others from infection by washing your hands or using an alcohol-based rub frequently and not touching your face. The COVID-19 virus spreads primarily through droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose when an infected person coughs or sneezes, so it's important that you also practice respiratory etiquette, for example, by coughing into a flexed elbow. COVID-19 affects different people in different ways. Most infected people will develop mild to moderate illness and recover without hospitalization. Most common symptoms, fever, dry cough, tiredness. Less common symptoms, aches and pains, sore throat, diarrhea, conjunctivitis, headache, loss of taste or smell, a rash on skin, or discoloration of fingers or toes. The coronavirus is causing a lot of trouble for people all over the world. Happiness was snatched away. The world powers were able to do various things to eradicate this annoying virus, and the United States, which succeeded in finding a successful vaccine that brought happiness to people all over the world. Today I hope to talk about that vaccine in this video. The Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccine is both safe and effective, according to the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. In a report released, the FDA indicated that it could greenlight the country's first COVID-19 inoculation within days. Why do we need a vaccine? The vast majority of people are still vulnerable to coronavirus. It's only the current restrictions that are preventing more people from dying. A vaccine would teach our bodies to fight the infection by stopping us from catching coronavirus, or at least making COVID less deadly. Pfizer, BioNTech vaccine the big breakthrough came when Pfizer, BioNTech published its first results in November. They showed the vaccine is up to 95% effective. The UK is due to get 40 million doses. It is given in two doses, three weeks apart. About 43,000 people have had the vaccine, with no safety concerns. The vaccine is a new type called an RNA, and uses a tiny fragment of the virus's genetic code. This starts making part of the virus inside the body, which the immune system recognizes as foreign and starts to attack. Front runners Pfizer and Moderna built their candidates with a new kind of technology that's never before been licensed in the U.S. Messenger RNA vaccines, called mRNA for short, aren't like your normal flu vaccine. Typically, a vaccine puts a weakened or inactivated virus into our bodies to trigger an immune response, which then produces antibodies. Those antibodies are what ultimately protect us from getting infected if we ever encounter the real thing. An mRNA vaccine, on the other hand, is essentially just a piece of genetic code that contains instructions for our body. The mRNA tells our cells to make a protein, the same protein that is the spike on top of the actual coronavirus. This is what triggers the immune response in these types of vaccines. So even though some trial participants reported COVID-like symptoms, it is impossible to contract the coronavirus from the vaccine, because the mRNA vaccines that Pfizer and Moderna are making don't use the live virus. The vaccine must be stored at a temperature of around minus 70 Celsius. It will be transported in a special box, packed in dry ice and installed with GPS trackers. On 2 December, the UK became the first country in the world to approve the Pfizer-BioNTech coronavirus vaccine for widespread use. On 8 December 90-year-old Margaret Keenan became the first patient to receive the vaccine at University Hospital in Coventry, with 800,000 more doses expected to be given in the coming weeks. 
Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe this channel. Stay safe at home.